from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 18th, 2019. Following the official nomination last night of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to form a coalition for the 21st Knesset, Israel's President Reuven Rivlin called for healing and unity. Rivlin wrote on social media, us and them is over. From now on, it's just us. Now is the time to stop fighting them and to regain belief in us to fight for our home, a place where secular, religious, and ultra-Orthodox Jews and Arabs, left and right, can find their place as equal partners. Netanyahu now has 42 days to form a coalition. He said he would do everything to earn the trust that the citizens of Israel have bestowed on me. U.S. Special Representative for International Negotiations Jason Greenblatt responded to remarks made this week by new Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Mohammed Shtaye. As we reported to you, Shtaye responding to rumors that the U.S. peace plan may not call for an independent Palestinian state, said the U.S. plan was born dead. Greenblatt criticized Shtaye's rejection of the plan before its release and wrote, you have an obligation to first look at an opportunity before you dismiss it. The PA can continue to push us away, but that will do nothing to improve the lives of the Palestinians. And by the way, Greenblatt also confirmed a report yesterday from Reuters that cited remarks made by White House Special Advisor Jared Kushner, which we reported to you about. Kushner told ambassadors to keep an open mind about the peace plan, saying it would be released after the Muslim holy month of Ramadan in early June. Prosecutors in Germany have charged a former Nazi guard with 5,230 counts of accessory to murder. The 92-year-old suspect, whose name has not been released, is accused of assisting in the murders of mostly Jews at the Stutthof concentration camp in Poland between August of 1944 and April of 1945. New York University held their President Service Awards ceremony yesterday, and one of the recipients was Students for Justice in Palestine, an anti-Israel group that promotes the BDS boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign, and has been accused of intimidation and assault. The Washington Square News reported that there was a small protest yesterday outside the event. When the award was first announced, NYU's Realize Israel, which is a pro-Israel group on campus, wrote on Facebook, by presenting the NYU President's Award to SJP, not only is our university condoning violence and discrimination against members of the NYU community, but it is declaring that this type of behavior represents the ethos of our university. And Al Gemeiner reports that Judea Pearl, the father of murdered Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl, had sent a letter to NYU President Andrew Hamilton renouncing his own Distinguished Alumni Award from NYU in response to the honoring of SJP. Pearl wrote to Hamilton, in the past five years, SJP has resorted to intimidation tactics that have made me, my colleagues, and my students unwelcome and unsafe on our own campus. He wrote, entrusted with the mandate of maintaining a climate of learning and mutual respect, your office should have distanced itself from the SJP selection and explained to the campus why such distancing is necessary. And Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu made Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world in the leaders category. David French cites Netanyahu's recent election victory, writing that despite the possible indictment on corruption charges the prime minister is facing, the April 9th vote shows that sufficient numbers of Israelis believe not just that Netanyahu is partly responsible for that success, referring there to Israel's achievements, but that he's the nation's indispensable man. Other Jewish people who made the Times list, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and Rent the Runway founder Jennifer Hyman in the Titans category, Leah Greenberg and Ezra Levin, who founded the progressive activism group Indivisible in the Pioneers category. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, April the 18th at 7 o'clock. It's a look at Passover with relation to the Talmud. At 7.30, a remembrance of the Warsaw Ghetto. And then at 8, professor of history at Trinity College, Sam Casso, talks about Jewish life in occupied Poland. 
At 9 tonight, it's the film Passover at the Wellmans, which is followed by a discussion of the issues raised in the movie by rabbis Joshua Hammerman and Daniel Schoenbach. At 10.30, it's New Jewish Cinema with film director Michael Levine, who talks about his documentary, Straits Matzah and the American Dream. And coming up right after this newscast, it's The Jewish World. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 18th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.